Hi everyone, welcome back to another Fence Course Vlog. We're here today at Quinta de Lago on their north course. It looks absolutely incredible. We've got three courses here, the north, the south and Laranjal. The south's been used on the DP World Tour. Laranjal will be playing in a couple of days and we'll have some uh, content from you from there. So, it's been a bit up and down, reminiscent of the channel this week so far, but we're hoping beautiful weather, beautiful course, let's shoot something low. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna take driver. Just wanna put it down in the fairway. I saw it bounce, but I'm not 100% sure. Do I look good, yeah? Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I've ended up just to the right of this cart path here. I am coming through some trees. I'd preferred to have bounced out like Luke did, but here we go, just a punch through with a seven iron. Great shot. I could have probably done with a bit more on it, but... It's safe though. You know, I've not hit a tree. Yeah. So let's go to the green. Could have done with a little bit more on that seven iron punch through there, but it's not bad and I'm leaving myself with a chip. I probably want to be landing this short and run on. Yeah, good shot. It died on that bank, but... Did. It's not gone long, so that's probably the best play. So we've ended front edge, got an uphill putt to the pin here, two putt bogey, I'd be more than happy with to come off on this first hole in this course. Get in. Ooh. Oh! That's a very good effort for my first putt. If we can put this in for bogey. There we go, come off with a five. Good start. So second hole, par three here. We've zapped it 165 yards. Looks like there's a lot of right to left wind when it gets up there. I'm gonna take a six iron. It's a bit toey, so it's probably gonna be short. Short. Oh, it's, front, it's front edge at green. Yeah, short Fenty man. Happy with that. Let's go have a putt. Green in reg, mate. Okay, so we have ended up front edge of the green. We've got a long putt here for birdie. Again, come off with a two putt here. Super happy. Uh, I've not hit it. I've not hit it. That hill's just killed it a little bit, it has. Hasn't it? it has. You've been good from this sort of range though, mate. Yeah, I mean, again, now a two put bogey, I wouldn't be annoyed with. Get in, get it. Oh, he's. Oh! How close do you need to get? It's a bogey. Unlucky. Two bogeys to start. I'm not happy. I'm not angry about that. No. We'll take it. Warming up. He's yeah. just warming up. There'll be birdies to see. Hole three, par five, about 508 yards. Looks fairly straightforward. Bunker in the fairway to try and avoid. Let's hit driver. See if we can do it well. No, we can't. Four! Oh! Don't know who's over there. Right, well that's one ball gone for fence. Oh dear. Right, so I'm definitely not finding that one. I'm 100% hitting three off the tee here. That was a terrible slice. Let's try again. Much better, mate. Why do you never do that the first time? Yeah, that'll work really nicely. Ridiculous. Right, let's go it four. <laughs> okay, so good second drive there. Leaves me in the fairway. Bit of bare grass, but it's fine. So I'm just gonna, uh, Advance my hybrid up there. If it goes left, mate, it'll come down off that bank. Yeah. Stride. Yeah, this will be really nice. Shot. I ain't gonna start what it was gonna do, but it'll do a job. I'll have a shot at green. I think it's pretty good. Let's go. So, a decent enough hybrid there. I've got about 140 something to the green. It's uphill as well. So I'm just gonna take up an extra club and I'm gonna go for a seven iron. Short fence. It needs to come round a bit more. Oh, I've gone long. Shouldn't have gone for the extra club. Middled it. Don't know what's at the back there, if it's a bunker or not, but go and have a look. So I've finished back left edge here. Not a bad shot, but just pulled it. So I'm putting on to the green. Slow down. Wow. 
Simmer, 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 simmer. That absolutely zoomed by. Get in, get in. Oh! So close. Oh. That grazed the hole. Oh, and I've missed that now. Deary me. Goes down as a four put and a nine. That tough, is not good. Tough all that one then. Hole number four, par four, about 370 yards, struck index one. Luke's at Perla down the middle. Let's see if I can follow him. We can't, but it's worked into the middle of the fairway somehow. <laughs> I was gonna say you can't be just kinda you kinda can as well. Just dead really, really short. Not the greatest hit. Let's go hit the next one. So not the furthest drive, but we've ended up on a fairway, so we've got about 180 left to the green. I'm gonna hit my hybrid. Short. It's gone a bit right. Sit there. A bit right and a bit short. Sit. If we, yeah, if we've got a chip on, happy with that. So I ended up short. Pins right at the front as well, so I'm gonna have to be <laughs> quite cute with this. Not usually my best shots. Beep, beep, beep. We've run past it, but it's okay. So we have gone a little bit long with that chip, but it was safe and it wasn't duffed, so we'll take that. Two put bogey, come on. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Be root all these greens, aren't they? Super, they're, they're, so, the, much, they're the, so much faster than the practice they're green. They're nothing like the practice green. Long put for bogey, then after running past. See if we can sink this. Oh. Okay, so a tricky one for double here now. Yeah, there well, we go. Well cleaned up. Double bogey. These greens are testing us at the minute. They are. Big time. Okay, so hole number five, about 300 yard par four, all uphill, dog leg left, bunkers to contend with. I'm still gonna hit driver and just hope I can fade off that left one. Worldy, mate. Just like that. Best drive at day. Absolutely A1. Yeah, that is perfect. We've got the driver swing back. We haven't got the distance, but we've got the swing back. To be fair, that'll have been killed by the hill. Yeah, it will. So, centre fairway, we've got about 116 yards. It's a bit uphill, so I'm probably going to say it's playing about 120, 122. Wind into a little bit, so I'm going to take a 9 iron. Stick it close, mate. Shot. Yeah, shot. Should be good if it's not too long. Maybe pitching wedge was the play, but we'll see when we get up there where it is on the green. So we have gone a bit far past the hole here. Pitching wedge probably was the club, but you know, we've hit a green in reg, so it's not that terrible. See if we can sink a birdie putt. No, we can't. Scared of the speed after running a few through. Can we make it for par? Oh, that how, is criminal. How, how, it's a bogey. Three putt bogey, not ideal. So hole six then. Par four, dog leg to the right. Green's just behind these trees over here. Two bunkers to contend with. They're about 220 away. So I'm still gonna go with driver. Hopefully I just get it into the middle of them and I've got a shot in. It's a bit fady, but hopefully it's short of that bunker. Yeah, I think you'd be fine. Miles short. Pretty, pretty good that. Miles short, where's a good old pinky gone? There she is. <laughs> So after a good drive, we've got about 125 yards. Um, it's probably right in between a pitching wedge and a nine iron, but there's that bunker at the front, which I don't really want to be going into. So I'm going to take a nine iron and air on the caution of long. Oh, this is golden. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's hit the very top lip of that bunker. It was nearly perfect. I, t I took too much off it, thinking it could have been a pitching wedge. That looked really good for a long time, mate. So, yeah, we just hit the top of this lip here, and we've ended up in the bunker. So we've got a bunker shot. Should have 
I probably couldn't have taken a bigger club, I just hit too easy on that nine. But let's get out and put. Oh, I've gone way long, I've clipped it. Not enough sand. So, poor bunker shot there, didn't take enough sand. So, I've got a little chip on here. Come that on, popped way up. Popped way, up real nice. Way too short. <sighs> so, I'm now going to put through it. I think it'll be daft to chip. Wow, it came through so much long grass there and still ran Quick, past. Quick, innit? Flipping heck. Oh, another one that shaves the bloody hole. Right, so I'm down for a seven after what could have been a really good opportunity to get a birdie or a par there. Such a shame. Hole seven, par five. 503 yards, looks fairly straightforward, so we just need to get a drive down the middle. He sent that to the moon. Yeah, we hit the wedge driver. <laughs> in the fairway. Here we go. Yeah, in the fairway, can't complain. So you don't see this often, my drive has actually made a pitch mark. That's how high I just hit that drive. <laughs> Terrible. Anyway. Let's get a hybrid down there. Oh, and I've chunked that so bad, I've muddy my face. Christ. <laughs> Terrible chunked hybrid there. I've ended up in the left side rough here. So again, I'm gonna have to take hybrid just to advance it down. Hopefully a better connection on this one. Forget about that last shot. That's better. Got caught up a bit, so it's not gone very far, but you know, it's straight down middle at fairway, so it's good. So, decent enough hybrid there for my third shot. I've got about 110 yards left. It's a bit uphill, so I'm gonna take a pitching wedge. Caught it a bit thin, so it's probably gone a bit too long, unfortunately. Let's go and have a chip. Okay, so we have ended up right at the back of this green. Hit it too thin. I'm gonna put it down. It's going to be all downhill, it's going to be tough to judge this pace. This looks brilliant, mate. What wow. a putt that is. <laughs> wow. If you're going to pull one out, pull one out there. Flipping heck. Okay, it's a really good putt there. Clean this up. There we go. Good two putt from there. Phenomenal, mate. Bogey. So, hole number eight, par three, about 151 yards. Is a bit downhill. Just seeing Luke hit his shot, really nice. A bit to the left of the green, but he took eight iron, so I'm gonna take eight iron as well. It's in the bunker. Pushed it a bit too far right. Yeah, in the bunker. Bit of a shame. Let's go and have a look. Sounded a nice hit, to be fair. It were all right, it just, yeah, just pushed it right. Okay, so the rake's actually stopped my ball here, which isn't ideal, because I've got this to contend with. So I'd be happy with just getting this out. And I've had to thin it out. It's probably gone to the other side at green. Right, so a long putt here for bogey. Right, I'm gonna go straight at it for double. Started. Pulled it. Yeah, started it. Wrong line. So triple. I was screwed by that rake and the line in that bunker. Okay, hole nine, 360 yard par four. Big bunker on the right, couple of trees on the left. Just as usual, needs a straight one down the middle. But as usual, fence don't usually hit them. So let's make it an anomaly. It's towards that bunker. I think it's just going to be short of that bunker on the right. Yeah, it opens up, mate. Should be yeah. fine. Okay, so not the best drive here. Spooned it out to the right. I'm in the rough. Got about 185 yards left to the pin, so I'm hitting hybrid. It's spooned right a bit. It should have the distance. So I've spooned it quite a way right here. I've got this bunker to go over, so I just need a nice chip. Land it just over the bunker, hopefully. 50 degree. 
Oh, and I've chunked it right into the bunker and taken a heft of grass. Got scared over that. All right. Okay, so we're gonna have to stick with a 50 degree because the cart's miles away. So let's get this out. Oh, shot. That all kinds of swaz. Just a bit too long, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good though. Okay, so horrible, tricky downhill put here. Get it close, please. That, that, was, didn't, that was rapid. Didn't look like it was going anywhere, did it? And then just zoomed past. Okay, to save the double. Oh! No. So triple for fence. Not great. This course is no joke. No, it's not. Okay, so hole 10, par four, three, four, two. Uh, I might not have done the smartest thing in the world, but I've adjusted my drive ahead. We've bumped it up a degree. Let's see if it changes anything. I need to do something, because it's not going great today. Yeah, good hit, mate. To be fair, that's a lot better. Maybe the change has worked. Okay, so we sent a fairway here. We're about 155 yards, I think. So I'm gonna take a seven iron and hopefully I make a greening reg. No, he doesn't, cause he chunks it, cause he's rubbish at golf. <laughs> he had to censor what he said then. It usually gets a bit expletive. Yeah, when the camera's on, you gotta turn it down a bit, but that wasn't good. Right, after a fatted seven iron, we've gone about 70 yards, got 82 left. So I'm just going to try and get a 50 degree onto the green. <laughs> oh, Portugal has officially broken fence. Okay, another duffed chip. Now can we get one on the green? Shot. Not that I needed putts making any harder. Luke's decided to help me with that. Cheers, Walls. So let's get one close. That's Br probably how much his ball have hit mine, so do we count that as sunk? Please. Hole 11, par 5, about 480 yards, I think. Um, a bit dog leg right, but the tee shot should be straight. Perla. Yep, should be good that. Looks like the drive ahead change has worked. Just the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so good drive there. Uh, we're in the fairway. Got about 260 to go. I'm going to try and hit a three wood up there. Yeah, boy. There we go. Shot, mate. Finally, a good three wood. Okay, so decent three wood there. We're in the centre of the fairway. We've got about 90 yards left. I'm going to try and clip a 50 degree onto there. Well, we're left hand side of the green. We haven't gone for the flag, but I think we're on the green. Not too bad. Okay, so I've ended up on the back edge of the green. I'm going to have to put through a bit of this crap again and come over a crest of a hill, so it's a tough put this. Nah, I didn't start it high enough. Tough putt. Long putt for par, moving as well, so. No, I pushed it too far. Not sure what line you'd seen there, mate. <sighs> All right, so this for a bogey. There we go. Comment, <sighs> comment down below, is Fence the most miserable man you've seen playing golf in Portugal? He probably is at the moment because the golf isn't good. Hole number 12, par four, 328 yards, huge dog leg left over this water here. So your players obviously go down there and then try and get over the water. So if I can get near Luke's ball, I'll be happy, man. Oh. Felt bad as I was coming back on that. Okay, so terrible drive. It has come on the fairway, but we're 218 from the flag. 
So I'm just going to take a 7 iron, go over the right hand side of this water. Oh, chunked it in the water. You can drop down there, mate. Yeah. Honestly, it's not going well today. Just don't feel the swing at all. That's an hard shot, that. When you said you were going over water, I was like, I don't fancy that. So I did end up in the water. Got about 150 yards left here. I'm going to go over the water, go for the green. Might as well. Uh, we've got a seven iron. Straight at it, mate. Go in. You're joking me. Okay, so I'm dropping this side of the water. We're 25 minutes behind pace of play here. We've got loads of people waiting on the tee box. So to make things easier, I'm going to just chip on. Go in. Ooh. Oh, good chip there. Very good. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is for a seven. We can't even make a seven. An eight it is. Not good. Ah, uh, Portugal's killing us. Killing us. Hole 13, par four, 400 yards. Looks pretty straightforward. Wind is into a little bit, so that's not ideal, but there's a nice aim point down there. That hasn't gone anywhere. Absolutely nowhere. Terrible drive, probably gone about 150 yards. I mean, it's bottom right rough. I'm just gonna have to hit a hybrid and advance. It's gone along the tree line, but should be able to find it. Okay, so we've come into the trees on the left here. Um, I haven't really got a line through. I'm gonna try and punch it through this little window I've got. Why not chase something that we can't get? <laughs> oh, it's a worldie! What a shot! <laughs> right, that's absolutely unbelievable. But I'll be honest with you, didn't even go the line I wanted it to go in. <laughs> Went through two gaps in the trees there. <laughs> what a shot that is. <laughs> so after the most unbelievable seven iron through the woods, I think you'll ever see. I can't wait to see the tracer back through that when that gets done. I've got I a par can't, putt. I can't wait to see this par. If we make this par putt, we're having a party. Oh, oh, it's a great effort, mate. Do you know what? That is the weirdest, crappiest, stupidest bogey I think I've ever made. But it's only a bogey. Just shows even if you hit rubbish shots, you can still make scores. Okay, so hole number 14, we've got a par three, uh, playing about 161 because it's going downhill. So I'm going to take a six iron here. Hopefully, miss those two massive bunkers that are down there. Been in enough bunkers today. Oh, God's sake, man. There's just no swing with me at the moment this week. It's terrible, man. Absolutely terrible. The winter break. I think uh, it's got a lot to answer for. Yeah, the winter break has killed me. A lot of rust has set in. So horribly top six iron there. Got probably about 100 yards to go. I'm going to use my 50 degree. That's better. Okay, after a good recovery shot there, I've got a par put. Go on. Yes. yes! He finally makes a f***ing part. Unbelievable scenes. <laughs> Excellent. You've, you've deserved that, mate. Cheers, man. Grinded. Hole 15, 360 yard par four. I think it's a dog leg right. I think we just need to get one towards the corner to have a shot round. Shot that. Yeah, we'll take that. Straight in the middle. Not the longest drive, still got about 200 yards in. So I'm just going to hit this hybrid, get it over these trees and then chip on. I'll hit it under the trees, but it's fine. It'll run up. Look like a worker did that. We'll take it. We've ended up just in the right rough here, probably about 60 yards away from the green. So I'm going to take a 50 wedge, see if I can get it up on there so I can have a putt. 
I thinned it right off the back probably. Yeah, is it gone to be bye bye? It's flown the green just. Right, okay, we're gonna have a look for it. Okay, so I've run off the back of the green. I need to chip back on now. It's gonna be hard to stop it on this green. Good effort. Oh, good effort. So. Okay, long put back up here then. It hit that down slope. Let's get it close. Not a bad effort. Okay, coming back for what I think is the double. Well down, mate. Yep, yeah, I think it's a double. Right, so 16th hole, lovely little par three this. Bit of an elevated tee box, got about 119 yards. Uh, so I'm gonna take a nine iron. And I just wanna be past the pin, really. Don't want to come down that false front. That was a nice click. If it gets over that bunker. Yeah, it's a bit right, but you know, we're on the green. Nice and safe. Okay, so we've ended on the green. Unfortunately, there's an old pin here that's literally six inches away. You're joking. That would have been lovely, but unfortunately the pin's 40 yard that way. <laughs> so, let's hit one down there. Hit that down slope. Yeah, it's trying. Keep going. It's trying. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not angry with that. Okay, this to save the par. And I've pushed it as well. Ah, oh, you're joking. Oh dear. The bogey for fence as well. Two more to go. So, hole 17, got about 310 yard par four. Dog legs round to the left. Couple of bunkers to contend with. Want a straight drive, as usual. Yes, fence. Sit uh down. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Gone towards the bunker, but it's fine. One of the better ones a day. So, so decent drive there, right hand side of the fairway. Got about 110 yards left to the pin. I'm going to wear on the side of the left just because of that bunker. I don't really want to be in any trouble. So, pitching wedge. Oh, I've thinned it. Sit down. Woo! Long! <laughs> that's gone. There's no grip, is there, whatsoever? No. So it went way, way long. So I've got a chip onto the green from the back. I want to bump it into that hill, hopefully. Well, I bumped it into the hill, <laughs> just not with any speed or conviction for par. Wow. That grabbed so much there, that's embarrassing. Oh, long put for bogey. Dive in. Yeah, that's good. Right, let's finish it off for the double. There we go. Not good. Okay, so hole 18, we've got a par five to end. It's about 450 yards as you snake it. Um, want to be pretty much near that bunker at the end. Let's have one final drive. Yes. It's a belter as well. An absolute money maker. About time. There we go. We've waited 18 holes for it, lads. Oh, and there's a mosquito on me, literally sucking my blood. Good drive to end the day. Uh, we've got about what is it, 2:30? Did it say on the screen? Yeah, I'm being mugged off by mosquitoes here. Two, yeah. three, four. Yeah, mosquitoes have started on us. <laughs> I literally watched one suck some blood out of me. God help it, because I ain't healthy. <laughs> so I'm gonna. <laughs> So I'm going to hit this hybrid down there, try and get a chip on for my third shot. Fuck <laughs> off! Fuck <laughs> off! Okay. Mosquitoes, man, I'm telling okay. you. Terribly chunked hybrid there. Got about 155 yards left. I'm going to try hit a six iron there, get it over that bunker. That sounded nice. Uh, just back right, six probably too much because I hit that well. Oh well, let's go. Okay, so I've come off back right here. Six iron probably wasn't a bad club, but I just didn't hit the green. So I'm gonna chip on, got a bit of a ridge to contend with. But if I can get it close, I've got a power putt. 
Oh, I've thinned it. Thinned it right across the green. Oh, what an ending this is going to be. So I'm going to put off the green this time. I don't really fancy thinning it. Let's get through all this crap grass and see if we can get close. No, nope, we can't. It grabbed it too much. Just kills it, doesn't it? Yeah. And I've hit that too short. <laughs> well, sorry for the rubbish golf today, everybody. It hasn't been my best at all. Four rounds in four days for me. Getting a bit tired. So thank you for watching. If you stayed this long, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below you think I've done today. Cheers. Shout out to Fence today, by the way, because he's uh, that was a tough round for him and he's grinded really well. So let him, let, let him know down in the comments what he thought of the round and give him some support. Cheers.